Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so excited to be bringing you God's truth today. Can we pray? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you this day. Thank you for bringing us to this day, even as the year 2020 is coming to an end. We give you praise. And I pray for everyone listening and watching me right now. Burdens are being lifted right now. Yokes are being destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You will teach us your truth today. And we embrace it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, I, I want to read something to you from Psalm 119. Psalm 119. So turn your Bibles with me if you're following me with your Bibles. Because it's important you look into the scriptures. Because what you see registers in your mind. So when you see and you hear, it's wonderful. <laughs> Double registration. <laughs> Praise God. Now then, it says, from verse 1, it says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way. Blessed are the undefiled in the way way now when you see a word like undefiled in the way a lot of thoughts begin to go through your mind but calm down follow follow who walk in the law of the lord you know you need to take time to read this whole chapter this this psalm 119 if you understand it you found the secret of david's life it's like he expressed, you, you find the foundation of his life. You found, find the things that he holds there to. If you understand Psalm 119, you understand David's life. Now we're talking about how to end the year. So I want to point out something to you. So now he says, blessed are the undefiled in the way. Who walk in the law of the Lord. Now look at verse 2. Now verse 2 is not detached from verse 1. He's, someone is writing a story. Or someone is writing, you know, there's a flow. Now look at verse 2, it says, Blessed are those who keep his testimonies. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies. Whose testimony? God's testimony. Now, now, hold on. What does it mean to keep God's testimonies? See, blessed are those who keep his testimonies. What are God? So God have testimony? You think you're the only one that have testimonies to share? <laughs> you know, that's the thing. We don't even understand what testimony is. We don't understand what it is. So we, we think testimony is climbing up the church pulpit. I have a testimony. Oh, praise God. I, I, I didn't have a house last year. So now, you know, last month, someone walked up to me and gave me keys to a brand new house. Praise God. Wow, what a testimony. Ah, ha, ha. Now he says, God has testimonies. Now, what are God's testimonies? Very simple. God's testimonies are the things he has said concerning a situation. So someone can come up, in, let, me, let me explain this to you. Someone can come up to the pulpit, for example. You're sitting down in the pew of a church and someone comes to the pulpit and says, I have a testimony. And the person begins to narrate his story. And, oh, so I didn't have a job. And then you're looking at, and you know this person. You know, I've seen someone do that before. Climb up the pulpit and told a whole fabrication of lies. And people were shouting. And I said, what's going on here? <laughs> and I said, right here is a go. I was just new in this church and, and, and this guy came up and was giving a testimony. And I later found out that everything he said was a fabrication. I mean, when you say fabrication, it's not just saying he, he twisted the story. Complete fabrication. In church. So what, now what, what's going on? Now he's giving a testimony you know he's telling what happened now in telling what has happened he gives his testimony see question then is is his testimony true or do you believe his testimony concerning that thing so i said testimony is what what god god's testimony is what god have said concerning a situation now i'll give you an example you're praying for someone for example and and the person Maybe the person is sick. 
and you're praying for the person to get well. Maybe your place of intercession, not necessarily going to lay hands on the person. You're interceding for the person. So, Lord, this person ought not to be sick. Why is this person sick? Oh, Lord, what's going on? This winning? Or you're praying for someone that is not married. There's a Lord, this person is, is I, I think this person is wonderful. Why are they not married? What's going on? Lord? And the Lord speaks to you and says, The reason this person is not married is because of so, 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 and so. And say, Hmm. Now, what's that? And that is God's testimony concerning that situation. Question then is, do you believe his testimony? Or oh, you're praying for yourself. Lord, I, I want to do this. I want to achieve this, Lord. Now, that's what we should be concerned about as the year is closing and getting to a close. What, what do, Lord, how do I face 2021? What do I do? And God will begin to give you his testimonies. You see, he will be, now, there is a difference between testimonies laws and um, precept or status now when you read Psalm 119 I think I've, been, I've done a teaching on this sometime I don't know if it's, it's, it's I, have, I have something on, on this testimonies law statutes and precepts you need to understand what these things are because in the process of getting testimonies God gives laws now when he says when he says who walk verse 1 who walk in the law of the Lord. You are so quick to think he's talking about the Ten Commandments and the, the commandments. That, now those were laws he gave to Israel. I, I hope you know that. Those were laws he gave to Israel. Now that's why sometimes we are confused about this thing. So we, we look at those laws and we try to keep them you know, in, in our own lives and you see that it doesn't work. You need to understand. Moses gave them those laws because of who they are. How did Moses get those laws? He got them in the place of fellowship with the Lord. Now, you need to go into fellowship with the Lord. And when you get into fellowship, now, how did those laws come about in the first place? I know you've seen, you've seen the movie you know, the Ten Commandments, you know, for example. And then you see Moses waiting on God and, and, and them up, up on that mountain. And then God shows up and says, Moses, you know. And then he, the next thing, he, you see that fire uh, come and say, Thou shalt not kill. And then you see the thing roll and hits the rock. And it rides on the rock. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And then it, you've seen those movies. That's not what happened. <laughs> Praise God. Now, now listen. Moses spent time with the Lord. And the Lord began to give Moses his testimony. About events that have passed. Now that's how he was able to write the book of Genesis. That's why he was able to write creation story. How did he know? Was he there? No, he wasn't there. He heard God's testimony about the creation and he believed it enough to write it down. That's what I tell you sometimes, you know, when God speaks to you, you don't write. Why don't you write? Because you don't hold it. You don't think it's important. Moses believed God's testimony about creation. He wrote everything down. Now, that was God's testimony. Now, in the midst of God giving you his testimonies, laws are given. Oh, man, so proud. You see, hear me. 2021, God is doing a major personal work with his children. Every man with his law. Every man with his own law. I'm telling the truth. God is not doing this general thing that we're doing. No, 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 he's not. Now, that's what we need to begin to school people for their own personal work with the Lord. Pastors, you need to start teaching your brethren on how to have a personal work, not the whole general. You are blessed. Come to church so that you'll be blessed. And no, every man, because there's a separation that is taking place. From 2021, God is separating the wheat from the sharp. I'm telling you the truth. So every man in his own personal work, So when God is giving his testimonies, he begins to give laws. How, how does that work? You know, God is telling you, you know, when, when, when I was walking with your father, 
And, and this is what I told him and this is what he began to do. And, and this is how he, he went astray from the things that I have told him. And he go, wow, so Lord, that, that really hurts you? He said, yes. And he reveals himself. He said, because see, I am God. I don't do this. Now what's happening? He's revealing himself to you. He's telling you, this is his statute. You know, this is who I am. You don't cross this line. And then you say, wow, wow. So what, what happens now? He said, don't do this. A law has been given. I, I, I can share lots of personal, you know, I was talking to someone recently. And the person said to me, he said, Pastor, there is something about you that, as in, every time you are always calm, you are, I've never seen anything that ruffled you. I said, yes. See, because I've, I've connected myself to the one who's in charge. And he has never lost that authority of being in charge. So the moment I know he's in charge, I'm in charge also. So nothing. And let me tell you this secret. It is because I have spent time to listen to God's testimony. See, I go before the Lord and I say, Lord, how, how do we face this thing? What do we do about this thing? And then he tells me. Now, in the midst of telling me his testimonies concerning that thing, he tells me the laws. Now, what do I mean laws? He, he tells me, look, this is concerning. You see, now, one thing my wife knows and we, we, we know it in our family. And everyone who's very close to me knows this. When it comes to finances, when it comes to meeting my needs, <sighs> permit me to say without being physically proud about it. It's like we are experts in it. You know how? This is the secret. The secret is from this place of God's testimony. Now the Lord has told me his testimony concerning finances. And then in the midst of it, he, he told me his law that I keep. In the moment you keep God's laws. Now, when, when I say God's laws, these things must be real to you. Remember I shared on, 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 with you about faith. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. If you believe that he is, it means you will receive words from him. Because we don't see God. No man has seen God. And guess what? No man will see God. Mm. What if when we get to heaven, you won't see God when you get to heaven. Stop, stop imagining those things that you will get to heaven. You, you, those, the angel, one day to be at the excursion to the throne. So they will put us in the bus or whatever vehicle. You know, we just get to the throne and then we'll see the throne of God. And then we'll see God. Wow, so this is God. So what are you imagining? Someone with, I, I don't know, what, what kind of picture can you imagine? <laughs> the Bible says heaven is his throne. The earth is his footstool. So imagine it, go, heaven is his throne where he sits. Then where his leg, the footstool is earth. And then you go to heaven. So which part are you going to see? <laughs> Praise God. So, so, so we, we won't see God. Just take that out of your mind. So how do we know? His voice. His voice. No angel have seen God. How do they know him? His voice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I was reading something to you. So I was telling you, in, in God's testimony, his laws are given. Now, in the midst of that testimony, because you believe his testimony, you will keep his laws. Now, that's what, that's what he says. He says, blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. When you seek him with the whole heart, he will give you his testimony. Seeking him with the whole heart is asking him, Lord, what's your mind concerning this? When he tells you his mind concerning this situation, you receive his testimony concerning that situation. And then you keep his testimony. So someone asks you, why is that thing that way? Say, I'll tell you. This is it. What are you telling the person? God's testimony concerning that thing. Because you are relaying. What, but, but that's not what it seems. I'm telling you the truth. That's what it is. Now, when you say that, you are showing you believe God's testimony. And let me tell you, only those who hear from God will hear his testimony and believe it. I'll see you tomorrow. And, and, and tomorrow, I'll begin to give you some very important information you need before 2021. God bless you. Bye-bye.